One of the most controversial things, or lack thereof, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was the removal of the shiny sparkle sound playing when a shiny Pokemon has spawned in the overworld. When finding a shiny Pokemon in Legends Arceus, you would first have a visual cue of a sparkle spewing out from the Pokemon and an accompanying noise that will make you stop everything you're doing and save your game because you've just found yourself a shiny. In Scarlet and Violet, however, it is quite different. When a shiny Pokemon spawns in these games, it is completely silent, but to top it off, there are no visible sparkles either. The only way you can tell something is shiny is by being able to determine if the overall sprite is shiny, or by running into the Pokemon to see the in-battle sparkles. Now, this wouldn't be as bad of a problem if Pokemon's shinies were actually good and different. Now, don't get me wrong, some shinies they introduced this gen are phenomenal. Just look at Cloth, Satitan, Belly Bolt, and there's many others. But then we look at Tandem House's shiny, which is terrible. Who approved this? Luckily, if you want to hunt Tandem House, you didn't have to encounter them one by one. You could use the auto battle feature to knock out the non-shiny tandem house. And once you did find a shiny, you would know because your Pokemon will shake its head and not knock out the Pokemon. But you need to step back and think why. Why would Game Freak remove the feature from Scarlet and Violet when it was already perfectly programmed into Legends Arceus? Well, I have a few ideas why. My first idea is that they wanted to make shinies a bit harder to find and less rare. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, it had one of the best methods in all of Pokemon, where your odds kept at 1 in 128 for mass outbreaks. And you couldn't miss these shinies because of the sound and visual cue. Now some more evidence for this idea is that in Scarlet and Violet, the odds for mass outbreaks have decreased, where the best they can be is now 1 in 512. Now here's my second theory, the one I think is more likely. Imagine you're a little kid who just got Violet, you boot up the game and explore the first few areas and you hear a certain noise. A noise that sounds familiar from your adventures in the Hisui region. It's the noise for when a shiny Pokemon appears. You look all around and can't find the shiny. You deduce that it must be in the only place that you haven't checked, which is the tall mountain. The shiny Pokemon is so close, but yet so far away. Out of reach because you haven't unlocked your Maridon yet. You get bummed and turn off the game, never to be turned on again. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit dramatic. But, because the game loads Pokemon that are completely out of reach for some players, it would inevitably cause scenarios like this. Personally, I don't mind the shiny noise and sparkles being absent in these games, but I understand for accessibility reasons, it has set a barrier for people who may have blurred vision, colored blindness, etc. But for me, I enjoy gluing my eyes to the screen so I can make sure the Igly buff I'm looking at is pink F7D6EF and not pink FDD7E4.